Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Chris Fitzsimon the same question. When the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals declared legislative districts unconstitutional, they allowed this year's elections to go on as scheduled, but to directed the legislature to redraw the maps. Now, the legislature wanted to set a date of July of next year to complete the project, but a group of challengers is demanding that the new districts be drawn by January 25th and that new legislative elections be held next year. What's your take on this, John? Well, I have two responses to it. One of them is that I doubt that judges will grant the motion to have special elections in 2017, but they might. So my second answer is don't expect it to matter all that much. For example, the congressional map was forced to be redrawn. The legislature redrew it. There wasn't any material change in the partisan ballots. They certainly looked prettier. They didn't have as many districts that had 50% or more minority. They had smaller numbers. But the, the actual political consequences were, were nil. Now, they won't be nil for the legislative districts, but they won't be dramatic. Don't expect them to be, even if the plaintiffs prevail. The maps get redrawn and there are special elections in 2017. Is it logistically possible that they could get this done by January 25th next year? Um, I suppose they could be working on it in the meantime. Uh, but again, I, I'm just, I'm not persuaded the courts will order special elections here. Chris, what's your take on well, this? Well, I think it's unlikely that the courts, courts will offer special elections, but I think it, it, it sort of makes you feel uncomfortable that we have had a, the courts of the United States of America say we're going to elect legislators under districts that are unconstitutional. Uh, and then the, the solution is go ahead and let them s serve two years under districts that are in effect illegal. So the plaintiffs are saying, why don't we as quick, okay, we're going to have this election, but why don't we at least have another election as soon as we can to elect legislators under constitutional districts? Are they unconstitutional or illegal? Well, they're unconstitutional. I, I, because right. the Voting Rights Act is the issue, and that's just that's a statute. A, well, but the courts have thrown the districts out. Right. right. So, so they're so illegal they're by illegal. the Right. Order. So okay. what we have districts that aren't legal. It's, uh, all right. So uh, the, the idea would be, let's, as soon as we can, let's have legal districts. I think that's what the plaintiffs are saying. So let's do it in 2017, not 2018. I do think it's unlikely. I think it would matter a little bit more than congressional districts because there's so many more districts. And I think the gerrymandering was more egregious in the legislative uh, mass because there are just some more so many more opportunities to do it. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.